We went in and they uh, pulled down the curtains and they had this ultraviolet light. We'd have to like summon the Holy Spirit or something like that. Were the, were the lights switched on or were the lights switched off? They were switched off. Were the lights switched on or off when you were doing the praying? Off. Oh. Could you see any light? Only a little. We go up on the stage and usually we watch like a short clip or a video and we do a prayer and then we, we pray for 20 minutes. Uh, well we just like hold up our hands and we ask for God to give us our Holy Spirit and they, they tell us to do this um, and tell us that if we don't uh, get the Holy Spirit then um, we can't go to heaven. We went up on the stage and then like they shut the curtains and then turned off the light and then we had the purple light so that when you smile your like teeth glow, that one. And then it was like we had like we like we were like um, told to like ask the Holy Spirit to come and stuff and feel the Holy Spirit and it's like they recommend like if you put your hands there you can like it's easier to feel the gift. Okay, how long did do you do you think the prayer sessions lasted? Half an hour. It was like. Was, I don't know, it was like most of the time, so it was like half an hour, 20 minutes. We were, we were definitely um, on the stage for the majority of the time. Oh, what, with the curtains drawn? Yeah. The safeguarding officer for London, Cheryl Kent, says that you watched the DVD and the lights were off for that, and then afterwards you had a short prayer session and, and that was what happened when you were on the stage. Is that correct? No, it was more like, it was more like the video clip was like the short part and then the praying bit was the really long part. We went behind the stage and we watched about videos for about um, six, seven minutes and then we did praying for about 20 minutes. And the only light that we got from when we were praying is the light coming through the curtains, the gaps in the curtains. When we were praying, um, the lights were, fit, were off and uh, we, ha we didn't have much light and we had to put our hands up like that as if we were receiving something. We closed our eyes and then while we were closing our eyes they asked us, put up your hand if you can feel the Holy Spirit. They asked us this question about every two or three minutes and they kept asking us the question. They said um, if you have to praise God and all of that otherwise you won't go to heaven. Um, this felt like how can you be teaching this to people? They weren't telling us what the right things. It's basically you shouldn't be um, told that um, stuff that you don't really want to believe so um, because it was quite long uh, I wouldn't have thought it would have been like 10 minutes it might have been like 15 to 20 if you didn't go if you didn't praise God then you go to hell which I found really like um, that you shouldn't be teaching that to kids that much because then they would kind of get scared that um, if you didn't praise God like every day if you didn't pray then you would go to hell which is like kind of scary when you're praying, no, the lights turned on. You could see each other, but it was really, it was dark. We pray for for like for t 20 minutes. I found sure. that scary. They were sort of like, if you don't take God as your saviour, oh no, Jesus as your saviour and God as your like master, then you'll go to hell. Well, they said that you won't go to heaven, which is telling us that we'd go to hell. I've been given the impression before that if you don't take Jesus as your saviour and worship God then you'll go to then you'll go to hell. Um, but if you do then you'll go to heaven. They didn't directly say you'll go to hell but they gave that impression and I think that's bad enough.